The year was 1841. Solomon Northrop, a free man from Saratoga Springs, New York, would be lured, kidnapped, and catapulted into an epic nightmare, the title of a much talked about film, 12 Years a Slave. But the film takes a pass, refusing to assert that being a free man is a farcical concept. I sat in an upscale theater outside of Washington, D.C., surrounded by a predominantly white audience. I left the movie wondering what was going through the collective minds of an audience nearly 200 years removed from Solomon's story. Can they deny that the wretched history is not deeply rooted in today's stark inequalities? And in the end, could they understand the scars inflicted upon Solomon would never heal, but pass from one generation to the next? Twelve years is without heroes, only villains and victims. No redemption, no edification, no entertainment, not uplifting. More than autobiographical, the film was a creation of Hollywood that missed the mark to employ useful creative license. The anger and rage that the drama stirred in me would be worth the ordeal if the message conveyed greater clarity about where we are and why we are here, drenched with an indelible stain in the American fabric. Mm -hmm.